and welcome to Daniel's Tips. We're putting some sense in your tip jar. Welcome today. Today you're joined by me, Daniel, and we're going to be painting the skill in a tree. So let's get our digital canvases ready and our canvases ready and start painting the skill in a tree. As I delve into painting this scene on my canvas here, I put down some important landmarks, starting with the tree and the girl, and then I use the paint bucket tool to kind of, in a way, block it in, um, kind of silhouette it in, silhouette that um, shape that I'm seeing, um, use of the tree, and then I kind of paint using my paintbrush, in a similar style to a blocking method, and I have used blocking method in the past. You can see this video up top, the draw this in your art style image that I did use starting off. I did use the blocking method, and it's a newish method that I found where you kind of, um, I guess, block in the silhouette of the character, of the scene. Um, so I'm kind of using techniques here like that where it's helping me to develop the character, the, the pose. Um, yeah, and all these techniques can be helpful. You know, it's better to kind of start off somewhere and have something to develop with than to kind of not have anything to develop with and, you know, trying to make every drawing the best drawing that you've ever done, you know, like, just relax and just, yeah, enjoy the process, you know, it's, it's, um, I enjoy these, these are 90 minute art challenges that I do, and this was a tough one, um, I'll admit that, because it's not a subject I'm used to drawing, I don't often draw subjects like this, um, a girl sitting in the woods, um, with, you know, a little bit of background going on in there, but not too much background, um, got some, like, distant blurring, which is something I've been working on, um, trying to get better at, um, trying to make things feel like they're in a distance, um, and things like that, and things that are, you know, towards you. That kind of play I've been trying to get better at, so, you know, I focus in on things I want to get better at with each of these drawings and these paintings, um, and try to capture her the best I can, um, and I think I did an okay job, you know, <laughs> I think I could have done better, um, there are some proportional things that... I think I could have fixed up a little bit um, better, but because, you know, 90 minute art challenge, I didn't have all the time in the world to try and fix up every little mistake, um, and, you know, I don't think it would have done me any good just sitting there fixing up all these mistakes, you know, <laughs> just, you know, take, I'm taking what um, I've learned from it, and I can apply it to the next painting I'm doing. I'm not fussed about this painting being, you know, anything, you know, anything really. I don't really, apart from you guys on YouTube, I don't really post these challenges anywhere else. I don't really post them to Instagram or anywhere else um, or show any other people, really. These are just for fun. They're just sharing you. Um, some helpful tips, um, my thoughts and, and things that I do with these paintings, you know, it's just to, to help me and help you as well. Um, it's fun, you can go ahead and find this image on pixabay.com. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really cool website full of heaps of free um, images that you can use and use them as reference, draw them, you know, draw them how you see them, um, you can use, I'm pretty sure you can use them for commercial work, as far as I know, um, I don't know what all their licensing is about and all that, but I do know, um, 
so they do a lot of image free copyright free imagery um that's really cool and it's great um yeah it's great to find reference material something different um really good photographs and photos um to to paint and draw from so go check that website out but anyway um, back onto the topic, you see here, I'm also working on the folds, the kind of, um, her skirt. Um, also, you know, trying to get better at texture as well, trying to show that different places are, you know, different materials, you know, different, the dress, that's the dress, and then that's the skin there you know trying to show that and i did this in black and white as well and that was an option just because um you know there's a lot with color um and you know color is really great and awesome uh, but sometimes i do like to just dull it back and just do black and white just to, to understand the drawing side of things um and what's going on with the, the whole tonal values and getting the values right um, and understanding you know the kind of skeleton of the image um, in a way better basically basically the skeleton and then like the color is a cherry on top in a way it can be like that but um, your know, color is important as well so don't um, I don't think going all grayscale all the time is the best um, but it is really helpful just to dial it back. I just went grayscale. I could have made the image grayscale as well. And it might have helped me um, a little bit better. But I wanted to, to understand those tones a little bit better. Um, and, you know, it's a cool little study that I think will help me out in the long run. I mean, these are things I do, you know, once a week, twice every two weeks. Depends on my schedule. Um, but at the moment, these ones are roughly every two weeks I do one. Um, just because these videos are every two weeks that I do release. Um, but, you know, I may be able to push it and do one a week every now and again. Um, so, it's vice versa. Sometimes I, I manage to do once a week. It all depends on how my painting schedule is going. Um, and also just having kind of an urge to do something different you know these 90 minute art challenges are great to do because i do get a little bit of time just to do something different another painting that i've done um another kind of exercise something that um <laughs> kind of expands the knowledge that i have about illustration and creating things and drawing um so it's always good to to keep it up. I, I do enjoy doing them. Um, so whether I do them each week or every two weeks, um, you know, each week would be great. Um, but for now, <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with my other painting schedule with painting the other works that I've got going on. Um, but every now and again, when that slows down, um, I will, you know, try and do one a week. It's good to do one a week. And every now and again, like, I think I did two last week. So, every now and again, you know, I do more or less, you know, pull back and, and create more sometimes and create less other times. So, but anyway, uh, that's me. Um, hopefully, you've enjoyed me painting this. Um, these aren't, you know, how-to per se, um, although you can watch me and see how I do it, um, any techniques and things that you see, and hopefully it will help you paint. Um, if you'd like me to share something with you guys, or you have some questions, let me know down in the comments, um, your thoughts, you know, if you like the image. <laughs> um, and yeah it's been great having you coming in with this to this channel it's great having you all supporting this channel too um feel free to 
to like, share, subscribe. It's great to have some support out there. Um, and I just want to, hopefully this helps you grow as an artist. I've got many videos here already um, that you can go check out that hopefully will expand, you know, what you know about art and illustration and what you can do and create. Um, because, I, you know, you can create something good if you put your mind to it. So, um, yeah, keep drawing everyone, keep creating, and we'll see you in the next video.